Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. I had a great conversation with a mastermind earlier uh, this week, and one of the people in my mastermind had recently shut down her business. And for good reasons, I mean, the business was going well, but she wasn't particularly excited about it. And she felt there were bigger opportunities for her to pursue. And she's being held back by the current line of business that she was in. So she shut it down. And she's exploring other options now, other directions uh, to head and other opportunities to pursue. And while she was explaining her thought process behind this decision, and her thinking behind the different avenues in front of her. She said, any market that I cannot be myself in is not a market that I want to be part of. And that line really jumped out at me. Any market that I cannot be myself in is not a market that I want to be a part of. Interesting. The conversation around authenticity in business is a big conversation, not one I'm going to tackle effectively in this short episode. But I think that that bears some reflection for everybody. Because what she was saying is that it, if she can't be like her most authentic, true, best self, then that's not an option for her. In other words, the business that she pursues and the market that she pursues and the people that she surrounds herself with, they've got to be the kind of people, the kind of market, the kind of clients who will enable her to be her best self, to be her most authentic self, because that's where she does her best work. That's the key here, right? This is not about being yourself or being authentic just to make yourself feel good. That's not the goal. But the truth is, whenever whenever you operate from your best self, when you are being true and authentic to who you are and you're not putting on a show for anybody, that's when you do your best work. That's when your real genius comes out. And if I think about this show as an example of that, I'm not pretending to be anybody on this show. If I was pretending to be somebody I'm not, I'm not doing a very good job of it. This is very raw. This is unfiltered. This is from the trenches. I'm literally hitting record here in my office and just talking to you about what I'm learning and what I'm feeling and and what I think you should be thinking about. And this conversation, if you're a client, you can attest to this. It sounds pretty much the same as it would if you were sitting across the table from me. There's no show here. This is who I am. This is my most authentic self. And people notice. People like that. And people say to me, and this is not to toot my own horn, but just to give you a sense of the opportunity. People say to me, you know, the way that you put things, I don't hear other people put them. The way that you conceptualize things, I don't get that elsewhere. And that's not because I'm brilliant. That's because I'm being true to who I am. I have a perspective. I have a a view on things. I have a view on the world. I have a take. And a lot of you don't think that you have a view. You don't believe you have a perspective that's worth sharing. You don't believe you have a take on things that's worth spreading. And you're wrong. You're just flat out wrong. And if you had actually done the hard work of putting your ideas out there, and letting people interact with them, as my clients do, I can tell you they all discover, despite that fear, despite that feeling of inadequacy in the beginning, they all discover that, huh, you know what? I didn't realize I had this perspective. I didn't realize that this thing that I took for granted that I understand, other people don't understand that. I didn't realize that until I put it out there. Now, that's a bit of a tangent, but to come back to the point, You want to find a market and to find clients who allow you to be yourself, who allow you to be your most authentic self, because that's where you're going to do your best work. So I want you to think about whether the way that you're showing up in your market in front of your clients, whether that's really who you are. And, And here's a little interesting test. 
Do you ever find yourself in, in client meetings almost biting your tongue because you don't want to say what you're really thinking and kind of holding back some perspectives and opinions because you don't want to offend anybody and you're not really sure how that's going to be received by people? And I'm not saying you should always say what you think. <laughs> that would certainly get you into a lot of trouble. But if that's a recurring theme and you find that you're holding back and not sharing perspectives and ideas and not challenging the ideas in the room because of a fear of, of um, not fitting in or not being accepted by the group, that's a pretty good indication that you're, you're, putting, on, uh, you're putting on a show. You're pretending to be somebody that you're really not. And that's preventing you from ultimately leveling up and getting better results for clients and building a profile of your own as an expert in your market, an expert that has a unique and distinct view on things. You're only going to achieve that kind of expert status if you truly have a unique and distinct view on things. And you're not going to have a unique and distinct view on things if you're catering to the masses and you're just parroting what everybody else in your market is saying. That's boring. Nobody wants that. So something to think about, how can you show up as your most true and authentic self in your market? And if you're not showing up that way right now, what needs to change? Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor. If you like what you hear, go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much.